Welcome back friend, hope you all will be fine. In this lecture, we will discuss about the sexual reproduction and life cycle in brown algae, which is also known as Phytophyta. So first we will discuss about sexual reproduction in brown algae. Sexual reproduction in brown algae exists in haploid plants, except the members of Eukaly. So all the plants in brown algae, which undergo sexual reproduction are applied in nature except except the members of few calories. the plants may be homothelic or heterothelic which means that homothelic plants are those plants which contains both the male and female sex organs on the same plants and heterothelic and heterothelic plants the male and female plants are different some species are isogamous which means that the gametes involved in this process are similar in structure. Some show physiological or morphological anisogamy and mostly the members of brown algae show oogamy. So we will discuss all these uh, in detail later. In sexual reproduction, the multi-chamber gametangia are formed, which is similar in structure to plurilocular sporangia but behave differently. So we already discussed about the plurilocular sporangia and asexual reproduction. Plurilocular means that sporangia which have many locules or cavities. So in sexual reproduction, the gamete formation chamber is known as multi-chamber gametangia, which is similar to plurilocular sporangia but it produces gametes instead of spores. So first we will discuss about isogamy. Isogamy is a sexual process in which both the male and female gametes are similar in structure and size. It is mostly seen in the members of ectocarpales and specillarialis. The similar gametes bears on plurilocular gametangia on the gametophytic plants who we uh, already discussed that the, the gametes or the plants involving in sexual reproduction are applied in nature, which is gametophytic plants. So the gametes are present in the plurilocular gametangia. Uh, the fusing gametes, isogametes, are similar to two spores in structure, but slightly smaller, pyri form, which is pear-shaped, biflagellate, which means that it contains two flagella, and these flagella are attached laterally. So the isogametes which are formed in the gametangia are similar to zoospore which is formed in uh, asexual reproduction but uh, the gametes are smaller in structure. Fusion of isogametes. Two morphologically similar gametes fused and a deployed zygote is formed and that zygote germinates directly into a sporophytic plant without any reduction division or meiosis. So this is, you can see here, the isogamy is shown in this figure. This is the haploid plant. This is the branch of a haploid plant, which bears gametangium. This is the gametangium, which, contain, which contains gametes. So this is the mature gametangium. So the wall of this gametangium breaks and which releases the gametes. These are the isogametes you can see here. This is the male female gametes, which is similar in structure and size. And these both have two flagella you can see here. So when these two fuse together, the fusing isogametes is, it results into the formation of zygote and zygote is deployed and the zygote directly germinates into a sporophytic plant without the occurrence of meiosis or reduction division. So this is all about isogamous sexual ty exogamous type of sexual reproduction. Majority of the species of brown algae show physiological anisogamy in which the fusing gametes are morphologically similar but different differ in sexual behavior. So the morphology of the two gametes are similar, and, uh, but both behave differently. And so we will discuss that how they 
they have differently. First, the female gamete is less active and it soon come to rest and it is get, get surrounded by the more male motile gametes and settle on the female gametes by its anterior flagellum, which, uh, which form a structure known as clump formation. So in this type of reproduction, the physiological anisogamy, the female gamete, which when the female gamete is released, it, it is less active and it soon come to rest. So after that, the male motile gametes come and surround the female gametes by the help of its anterior flagella. So you can see here, this, is, this structure is formed. This structure is known as clump formation. So what happened next? The anterior flagellum of one male gamete contracts and it fuses with the female gametes. The remaining unlucky gametes swim away in water. So one of the lucky gamete, male gamete here, the flagella of that gamete contract, which uh, brings the, this male gamete in contact with the female gamete and these two fuse together. And the remaining unlucky gametes, male gametes swim, swim away. Then after the fusion, plasmogamy and karyogamy take place and a deployed zygote is developed which germinates directly into a sporophytic plant without meiosis. So the cytoplasm of both fuse and then the nucleus, fusion of nucleo, nucleus occur. So you can see here, this is the fusion of gametes. After the fusion, the zygote is formed and this zygote directly germinates into a sporophytic plant without meiosis. Some species of the brown algae show well-marked morphological and isogamy. In this type, the two fusing gametes are dissimilar in size, and these are produced in different gametangia. So these gametes are different in, in size and produced in different gametangia. The fusion takes place in water, which results in a deployed zygote, and this zygote germinates directly into a sporophytic plant without reduction division. So in morphological and isogamy, you can see these are two gametes. Male gamete is smaller and motile. Female gamete is larger. It is also motile. So when these two gametes fuse together, it results in the formation of zygote and zygote directly develop into a sporophytic plant, which is deployed without any reduction division. The last one is oogamy. Oogamy is a process in sexual reproduction in which both the gametes are different in nature. It occurs in the members of laminarialis, fucales, and dictyotales. In this process, the enteridia, which is a male gamete producing uh, argon, develop on male gametophyte, and they are unicellular, which occur in laminarialis, or it may be multicellular, which occur dictyotales and it bearing one single male gametes, also known as enteridium, are many gametes. So the male gametophyte uh, produces either one single male gametes, which is known as enteridium, or it produces many gametes. And, we, uh, and this male gametophyte are unicellular or matricellular. So the ogonia, which develop on the female gametophyte is a single cell with a single egg or ohm. So the female gameto gametophyte produces ogonia and this ogonia is a single cell which contains a single egg or ohm, which is known as a female gamete. The oa released from the ogonia fertilizes by the enteridia and zygote are developed the fertilization and most brown algae is external, which occurs in water. So when OA is released and enteridium is released, both uh, uh, both combine fuses and which uh, fertilization occur, which results in the formation of zygote. The zygote then directly germinates into a deployed sporophytic plant without meiosis. And the fertilization, which means that the male and female gametes uh, 
uh, fusion occur in uh, which is external and it generally occur in water so you can see here this is the process of oogamy you can see this is the male gamete which is known as antheridium this is smaller in size and it is motile the female gamete it is known as uh, ogonia or oom you can see here this is larger in size and non motile these two are haploid these two fuse fuses together and form a zygote zygote is diploid in nature and this zygote directly in, uh, germinates into a sporophytic plant which is diploid in nature so this is all about sexual reproduction and brown algae and next we will discuss about the life cycle in brown algae except the members of fucales all brown algae show a typical alternation of sporophytic and gametophytic generation which is also known as diploheplontic life cycle so uh, the members of brown algae show a clear cut alternation of one generation into another and these generation are known as sporophytic generation which produces spores and from these spores uh, are formed gametophytic generation which produces gametes and these gametes results into sporophytic plants some species show isomorphic alternation of generation which means that both the sporophytic and gametophytic generation are morphologically similar so it is also known as isomorphic diploheplontic life cycle which occurs in ectocarpus so in this isomorphic diploheplontic life cycle both the gametophytic and sporophytic generation are similar and in some species the two generation are morphologically dissimilar and this type the sporophytic plant is very large and the gametophytic plant is very small and microscopic so it is also known as heteromorphic diploheplontic life cycle life cycle and it occurs in laminaria this is the graphical rep representation of life cycle in brown algae so we already discussed that brown algae show clear cut of um, two generations sporophytic generation and gametophytic so these two plants are different sporophytic and gametophytic plant and this is also known as diploheplobiontic life cycle or uh, or diploheplontic life cycle these two are same so first the sporophytic plant which is diploid in nature this type of plant will produce sporangia sporangium is a organ which produces spores this is diploid in nature in sporangium meiosis occur which results in meiospore or zoomeospore which is haploid in nature these meiospores germinates into a gametophytic plant so this plant is an individual plant this is haploid in nature and this gametophytic plant produces sex organ male sex organ and female sex organ which is haploid in nature male and female sex organ produces gametes and these gametes gametes fuses in a process known as syngamy which results in the formation of zygote which is diploid in nature the zygote directly germinates into a sporophytic plant without meiosis so this is a diploid so the sporophytic plant give rise to gametophytic plant and the gametophytic plant give rise to sporophytic plant so this is a clear cut alternation of sporophytic generation into gametophytic generation and we discussed that this type of life cycle is either isomorphic type or heteromorphic type and isomorphic type you can see this is the gametophytic generation and this is the sporophytic generation both are similar in structure both are same in heteromorphic life cycle the gametophytic generation or plant is smaller very small and microscopic and the sporophytic plant or generation is large and microscopic so these are different in heteromorphic life cycle so this is um, all about the sexual reproduction and life cycle occurs in brown algae thank you for watching see you next time with a new lecture